Tanya Brown spends some time with her newborn son, Nasir, a few hours after giving birth to him. This is my first kid, so it was a great experience. Tanya wants to breastfeed Nasir because of all the healthy benefits associated with breast milk. But after her first attempt at breastfeeding, she was having second thoughts. And I actually asked about bottle feeding <laughs> because he wasn't latching. Nasir couldn't latch because he was born tongue-tied. Tongue-tied babies have connected tissues under their tongue that is too tight. This condition can be very painful for breastfeeding mothers and can lead moms to bottle feed infants, which health experts agree is not as nutritious for babies. Babies with tongue ties have difficulty latching onto the nipple because they can't stick their tongue out far enough or lift it up to be able to um, get the milk out of the breast the way they need to. Dr. Sandra Sullivan says babies with tongue tie that are left untreated can have developmental difficulties from malnutrition as well as later problems with their teeth and speech. She says tongue tie is often misdiagnosed because of a lack of awareness in the medical community. Now that we've cut that tie. But Dr. Sullivan says there is an easy solution to this problem. There's a very simple fix. Um, it's a procedure that we do in the office where we just basically um, give the baby a little bit of sugar water, lift up the tongue, and snip that little tissue with scissors. Tanya is thankful they diagnosed Nasir so quickly. It relieves me because at least I know, you know, what the issue was and I know it's something that was quickly fixed and it'll be fine. She can now focus on the challenges of being a first-time mother instead of worrying if she is breastfeeding him properly. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.